Hey everyone, it's Diamante, or Demo for short. You don't really come out once, you kind of come out through like a series of like events. I think the most like prevalent coming out was actually last November with my mom. It was after I just finished watching Love, Simon. And so it was around like Thanksgiving and it was with my parents. And so I kind of like sat down at the table and I was like, hey y'all, <laughs> I gotta tell y'all something kind of important. Um, and so the conversation was really easy. And so when I came out to them, um, it was really this like whole eye-opening experience. So I was like, yeah, I'm queer. <laughs> and they were just like, okay, um, what does that mean for you? And then I said, like, I'm really open to, like, all people. I really, like, I don't have any sort of, like, preferences. I'm really just, like, a come-as-you-are type of person. And so I try to convey that in terms of, like, who I am in my sexuality and how do I identify myself with my sexual orientation. So at the moment, I currently identify as, like, bisexual, pansexual. And so when I was explaining that to them, they were like, okay. We could see that, that's, that's interesting, yeah. It was really good. It was like a weight that was lifted off my shoulders, for sure. I'm the president of Queer People of Color, and so QPOC for short, and so what we do is provide not only inclusive spaces for those in the LGBTQIA plus community who are of color, but then to also have like honest and authentic dialogue when it comes to being in the queer community and navigating those spaces, more specifically what it means to be at Temple. And so for me, I have the privilege and the opportunity to present this as a larger platform so that way everyone feels comfortable. Everyone's on a learning curve. That's why we're in college right now. Um, it doesn't come easy to some. It might be harder for others to come out, but always take your time with things, like be patient with yourself and always learn to heal from any experiences that may feel like you are stopping your growth. And I think you could always like rely on me. Like I want to present myself as a resource to y'all. Um, so if you just want to like hit me up and just be like, hey, like let's grab coffee or something and just talk. I think that's so essential because there's so much power in an honest conversation. I think it could go such a long way.